Classroom today we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to do some 3D drawings today. Um, we're going to draw a building and you're going to be able to see inside the building. We're, I'm going to make an art gallery actually. So what you're going to need for this 3D project is a ruler. I have a see-through ruler and that actually really helps me when I'm drawing um, because I can see the lines through it. But any ruler that you have will be great. You're gonna need a pencil and a racer and a sharpener close by. All right, let's get started on our 3D building. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a straight line that goes from one side of my paper to the other. Now, when I'm making this line, I'm trying to make it even. You can use your, you can measure this line so you know it's straight, for instance, Say I make a, I go down five and make a little dot, and then I go on the other side of my paper, and I go down five and I make a little dot, and I connect my two dots, and I know that that line is even. Now, you can eye it too. I eye most of my lines, but I've been doing this a while. All right, step one. Step two is we're going to make two dots on either side of this line. These dots are going to be your vanishing points. So this line right here is called your horizon line. So this would be the background and this would be the foreground. But these two dots are very important. Sometimes there's one dot and that is called one point perspective. But we're going to do a two point perspective building and I'm going to make a dot right here on this side of my paper and I'm gonna make a dot on this side of my paper. So those are very important dots, right? Because those are our vanishing points. Now to make my building in 3D, I'm going to make a line that shoots right through my horizon line. And it's going to be, could be any length, but I'm gonna make it like that. I'm not measuring it. I'm just gonna make that my um, line. So now we're gonna make the two sides of our building. You're gonna see how this works. So the bottom of my line, I'm gonna take this bottom line and I'm gonna take this to this vanishing point, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the bottom of this line and I'm gonna take this to this vanishing point. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna take it to this vanishing point And I'm going to take this line and I'm going to take it to this vanishing point. So you're going to start to see the 3D thing happen pretty quickly here. The next step is to erase the horizon line going through. I just don't need that horizon line anymore. I'm going to come on the other side of my paper and I'm going to erase this horizon line. Okay, now I'm going to create a sidewalk. So I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm going to go to this vanishing point right here, okay? And I'm going to come out about that far. I'm going to make a line that goes right under this point and stop. See how I did that? I'm gonna go on the other side of my street and I'm gonna make a line that does the same thing. It goes to this vanishing point. Okay, this is my sidewalk going back in space. See, you can see that it's bigger and it gets smaller. It's bigger than it gets smaller. I'm going to now make the curb to the my sidewalk. I'm gonna make a little teeny skinny line
because to that point, see? And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make a little teeny skinny line. That's that point. Okay, it's my sidewalk. This is my curb. Now to make the lines of my curb, we're going to make vertical lines going straight down. I'm gonna start right there. Okay. And I'm gonna go, you can use your ruler, I'm gonna freehand it. And as I go back in space, things are gonna get smaller. So my little horizon, my little vertical lines are gonna get closer together. I'm gonna do the other side of my road. And don't worry if this is perfect, this is all for learning and this class is all for fun. So if, it, if, if it's hard and you mess up, it's okay. When you take my class in person, I teach perspective every year in different ways. I love it, it's good to learn. All right, so now we have our sidewalk, our curb, and let's, let's figure out how wide we want our building to be. Now I am going to make this building, I'm looking here, this is where I want the side of my building to end. So I'm gonna end it right here. I'm making this darker so you can see where I ended it, okay? So I'm gonna come on this side of the building and I'm gonna end it, you can end it anywhere, but I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna make it nice and dark so you can see. I'm gonna make the top of this building really dark so you can see. So you can see my building. All right, so that is now becomes the shape of the building, okay? This line, you can erase. This line, you can erase. These are all guidelines. Guidelines are really important in art, even when we draw faces, and we're gonna be drawing a, a face coming up here uh, shortly, um, that we have to have guidelines that helps us. All right, so now if you can see you can see that this is a block, really, in perspective. It's getting smaller as it goes one direction. It's getting smaller as it goes the other direction. So now what I wanna do is I wanna open up some doors inside so we can look inside that building. So to create a door, an open, a big open door, I am going to create a, um, another vertical line going up. All right. I, I want this to be pretty tall, okay? Then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna create another vertical line going up. Now the top of the door is in perspective. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go towards my vanishing point. And I'm gonna make a line. You see, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Come to this point, make a line up. I'm gonna stop about right here because this is the other side of my building, okay? I'm gonna make my doors about the same length and I want them to be big. Okay, I'm gonna come here. Top of my door goes towards my vanishing point. Now see, I have that little area, I'm just gonna connect it. Now I have two open doors, it's almost like a warehouse, right? I do, I want this to be kind of like a big open space. So above these two doors, I'm gonna create two windows. So just windows are the same as doors. I'm gonna make a vertical line. I'm gonna use this as my guideline about right here, okay? I'm, what side of my windows go to my vanishing point? The bottom of my window goes towards my vanishing point. Vertical line to create my window. Okay, so now I have a window 
and an open door. And then I think it would look really cool to do another window over here. So I'm gonna do it just like that. I'm gonna take this line up. Okay, take this line up from here. Now the tops go to my vanishing point. Two point perspective. And I know this is tricky, but it, it's gonna really help you if you can get this down. Okay, see I have some extra space I'm just gonna erase. Bottom of my window. Vanishing point, actually. I think that this window is a little too short. Right, so I'm gonna make this window a little taller. It happens in art, you gotta just keep erasing. There we go. I'm gonna make this window taller. I think it'll look better if it's a little taller. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so now I have two open doors and two windows above. If these windows are hard for you, just do the open doors. Now I want you to see this in 3D a little bit. So I'm gonna show you a trick. So I want you to put your pencil right here, okay? And then I want you to aim your ruler to this vanishing point. I want you to skip this area and right when you get to this, I want you to make a line. Now you can see the floor on the side of the window. I'm gonna do the same thing over. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna to come to this edge, not this edge, this edge. And I'm gonna to aim towards my vanishing point. And I'm going to make a line. And now I can see inside my building, right? It's like I can walk through. Um, I want to finish this little art gallery with a couple paintings on my wall. Because I want you to be, think of this as like, I'm walking down the street and I wanna go and look at some beautiful artwork. So I'm going to now come inside here. This is tricky, but this is cool. These are my windows, right? I'm gonna make, there is a very big painting inside this window. This is the bottom of my painting. These are the sides of my painting. Now, this side actually goes to this vanishing point. And the reason is, even though it's on this side, it, we're inside now, okay? We're inside the building. So we're looking at it in a different perspective. So. This painting goes to this part. Now, if I did a painting in here on this wall, it's gonna do the same thing. The tops of it are gonna to go to this point. So let's, in the bottom of it. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna make the bottom of my painting. It's in this room. Bottom of my painting. The sides of my paintings are vertical. It's a big, huge painting. Big modern piece of art in this gallery. I'm skipping this area because if I made a line going through here, it would be making a line going on the side of the building and we're inside the building. Okay, and then the top of this painting, this is tricky, goes to this vanishing point. Okay, so now you can see the paintings inside the buildings, right? So this is where you could have some fun and make designs. Think of these as two canvases and you can make a design in there. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna pretend this is a very modern piece of art with zigzags and maybe some zigzags. And I'm just making this up. Abstract. Okay, I'm just saying. 
So this will be my painting, okay, inside of here, or my drawing on the wall. And maybe in here, I want to do something, um, maybe I'll do like some curves. But keep going through this painting. So you can see we skipped this because that's the side of the building. But now you can see inside the building and you can see a couple pieces of art inside this building. Here's the floor. Okay, you can um, take your pencil and you can just shade it, shade your floor. Maybe there's carpet in there, or maybe it's like a concrete floor. Okay, maybe I'm gonna shade my curb a little bit too. Now, to finish this piece of art, I'm going to make some trees, okay? I'm gonna make my trees in perspective though, meaning they're gonna be taller and they're gonna get smaller as they go back to my vanishing point. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my first tree. I'm just gonna draw my first tree, okay? Tree trunk. And then I'm just gonna kinda make the bushiness of this tree. And that's the top of my tree, right? All right, now if I wanted to do another tree, right, it's going back in space. So what's gonna happen to the next tree? It's gonna be smaller. and smaller because I'm going back in space. And what would happen to this next tree? Really small, right? Because we just see, just see a little bit of it. Um, I'm gonna come here with my horizon line and I'm gonna take, go vanishing point to vanishing point. Because if I do that, guess what this is? This is like a park. That's a cool park, right? And um, I'm gonna do trees on this side too. So I just make a line up. You can make any kind of trees you want. I'm just kind of being, making some basic trees. Okay, and what happens is they go back in space, my trees get smaller. Smaller and smaller and smaller. See how I'm just kind of going in circles? Lots of circles with these trees. And smaller. It's way far down the road. And smaller. Here's the last little tree. So if we really just start thinking about perspective as artists and how things go get smaller as they go back in space, it's gonna make our art more interesting and better. I am also making that line, bringing back that horizon line a little bit, right? And what is this? This is like a grassy field. It could be a field. You know what I could do on my horizon line too? Maybe I wanna make, make a mountain back here, right? Maybe this is some mountains. Maybe this is like Palm Springs or something. Anyways, you know what you can, you know how you can just develop a whole scene. I could shade my mountains a little bit. That's the fun part about making art. You can just let your imagination just take you places. So these mountains are way far, far, far away way down behind my scene. So here we go, 3D room, art gallery space. Give it a try, let me know how you do. Have a great week, take care.